Right, boys and girls, if you're all sitting comfortably, I'm going to begin and I'll tell you some of the stories, so hopefully you listen. Chapter 1, David Begum. Once upon a time, a handsome prince called David married a right pain in the ass, a total boot. They thought he was bigger than the football club. So then the king, Sir Alex, chucked a boot at him for wearing skirts and also for missing a header from two yards because he had too much bloody him on his hair. Absolutely ridiculous. I loved the boy. But he turned into a Jesse and he had to go. No doubt about that. Chapter 2, Roy Keane. Deep in the forest, lived Roy Keane. Now Roy was a psycho, an absolute nutcase, an idiot. A cross between Freddy Krueger and Hannibal Lecter. Again, he tried to take on Sir Alex and got a swift kick in the balls. I then told him to bugger off somewhere else. I wasn't standing for it. Chapter 3. Hope you're enjoying this, children. Absolutely magnificent book. Other managers. Let's talk about Arsene Wenger. Now that scarecrow thought he had to measure me. Absolute nonsense. I've won more games in my sleep than he had in, in, in normal time. Things get that bad for Arsenal, actually. During the, during the 90s, when he first started, things were that bad. He, there was fans staying at the highways at the final whistle, you know, to avoid the traffic. It was that bad. Let's talk about Rafa Benitez. Or Al's Toy Barn, as he's known. Rafa Benitez, his nickname at Chelsea was Radio 4. There was no bugger ever listened to him. The Spanish waiter tried his hardest to get the manager, also Alex. But his work was all undone, because he would never defeat the king, you know. Chapter 4, Wayne Mooney. Wayne came in one day, wanting to leave the football club. Thunder cracked over the stadium as somebody dared to defy the Messiah. So Wayne got the same answer as Ronaldo. A swift kick in the balls and told, no be so stupid, get back to training and I'll deal with you in the morning. Well, boys and girls, I hope you've all enjoyed your, your wee story tonight. It's an absolutely fantastic book. I hope you've enjoyed it.